Hello, how are you? I'm Hector Perez from Debs School. Welcome to this new video in which you will learn how to create the blur effect that you have probably seen in some applications on different mobile devices. In some previous videos, you have already learned how to develop a graphical interface like the one you can see on the screen. However, there is one point that we have not developed, and that is, as you can appreciate in this screenshot of this application, you can see how an image appears and at the bottom a blur effect to place each of the keywords. However, in the application that we have developed previously, which by the way you can see on the channel if you want to replicate this graphical interface, you can appreciate that what we did was to place a black background with transparency so that we could see the image behind this black rectangle that you can see on the screen. And it's a slightly different effect from the one seen in the original image. That's what we're going to do in this video. I thought it was a good idea to teach you how to apply this blur effect in your applications with .NET MAUI. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. I'm going to open the application of the project that we have worked on previously. I'm going to stop the execution of the application. Once we have done this, I will quickly show you a repository that we will use to implement this effect. It's the SSWI repository called acrylicview.maui. This repository, as far as I understand, is a kind of migration from this original Robachev repository called charnado.martyrialframe, in which different examples are shown, and an implementation of these types of effects was made so that they could be used as part of Xamarin.Forms applications. Unfortunately, the developer of this package has not yet ported it to .NET MAUI. So, we have this option in which we see some examples of some implementations that we could achieve and that are some of the things we will see today. First, we will download the project in zip format to add it to our .NET MAUI project. This is because since there is no NuGet package yet that allows us to easily and quickly install this package, we have to do it this way. We download the zip file. And once we have downloaded this file, I have unzipped it. We have this folder here, I'm going to open it. We have a couple of folders. The first one called Acrylic View, which contains the necessary files to implement or work with this control from our projects. We also have a folder with some examples. We are interested in the project itself, where the control we want to use is located. I'm going to copy this path. I'm going to go to Visual Studio where I have opened the project we had worked on previously called Dalui App. But you can do this with any existing project you have, or if you have made a replica of this project, you can also implement it in this project. Next, we will go to the project or the solution, right click, add existing project. I'm going to paste the path I copied earlier and select the project called acrylicview.csproc. I click on open and this imports the project itself into our solution. You can see that it takes a while for the dependencies to be resolved. You can see that each of the necessary dependencies are being restored so that the project can be compiled correctly. Wait a bit for this warning icon to disappear for the Android part. Once we have done this, we can right click, click on Rebuild to rebuild this project and not to have any kind of problem. If you get this error message about not being able to find this path that you can see on the screen, what you can do is right click on the project, go to the Properties section. In the Properties section, we will look for the section called General Package. We have an option or property called icon, which refers to an icon. This is the reason why we are having the problem. Since in my case I am not interested in having an icon to show the user, I will save the changes by deleting this value or string. I save the changes, close the properties tab and again click on rebuild to see if it is now possible to recompile this project. 
After a few seconds, you can see that this project has been successfully recompiled, which means that we can now use the controls as part of our project. To do this, I will go to the project, which in this case is Dalui app. I will right click, I will indicate that I want to add a project reference. I select that I want to see the projects in the solution, I have here the name of the project, I select it, I will click on OK, and this creates a reference to the project that we have previously added. Once we have created this connection between the projects, we will go to the MAUI program file. And this is because we need to add an extension method. The method is use acrylic view. With this line that imports the namespace you can see on the screen, we are now ready to use the control within the XAML files. I'll close this tab. I go to the file that interests me, which in this case is the dashboard view file, which is the main file of the project. We will create a new namespace. In this case, it will be XMLNS. We will call it, for example, acrylic, which is equal to CLR, namespace, colon, and we have to write the XE namespace. We are interested in this namespace called XE.acrylicView. So I select it, and this automatically creates the reference to the xe.acrylicView assembly. Now that we have created this namespace, I will run the project. This with the purpose of seeing the changes in real time. Once we have deployed the application, I will go to the section where we can find the rectangle with black opacity. I will go to the collection view part where we have the cover flow view control. In our case, we are achieving the effect by creating a grid and within it a rectangle. What I'm going to do is remove this rectangle since the control we're going to use only allows using one nested element. In this case, it would be the vertical stack layout. If I save the changes, this rectangle disappears from the graphical interface. Next, I will change this grid for the name of the control. The control is acrylic view using the acrylic namespace. With this change applied, look how automatically we are seeing this blur. In this simple way, we can apply blur effects as part of the graphical interfaces in .NET MAUI. Not only that, but we also have a set of different properties that we can use to make some changes to the graphical interface. I will show you some of them, for example, we have a property called Effect Style, which allows us to easily set the type of blur or how dark or light we want the blur effect to be. In this case, for example, with the dark effect, see how a darker appearance was obtained. We also have another value called Extra Dark, which if applied, gives us an even darker appearance. We also have very clear properties, light and extra light. Let's apply one of them and see how we already have a slightly clearer blur. In case you don't like the default effects, you can indicate that you want a custom effect and use some properties in combination, such as tint color. This property will help us specify a color for the blur. For example, let's apply a light green value. Save the changes and you can see that it doesn't apply immediately. This is because we need to use this property combined with another property called tint opacity, to which we can assign a value from zero to one. I will apply, for example, the value 0.2 and see how this already shows us what it would look like with the ink color applied. You can use the color that suits you best, depending on the graphical interface design you are creating. You can also specify a border color if needed, for example, a white color. And at the same time, specify how thick that border line will be. Let's indicate that we want a value of 2, for example. I save the changes. I swipe one of these cards to see the change reflected, and here we can see it. It is also possible to specify the corner radius of this acrylic view control through the corner radius property. We can specify, for example, that we want a value of 0 for the top left corner, a second value of 0, 
a third value of 30 and a last value of 30. With this, if I save the changes, we can already see that this border we have specified looks much better. As we are rounding these two lower edges, which gives it a better appearance. It is also possible if you wanted to specify that you want to show only one of the lines of your control. This specifying the border thickness property, for example, I will indicate that I want to apply only two borders. And with this, see how only the left and right borders appear, but the bottom and top borders have disappeared. In my case, to complete this application, I will remove all these properties that I added, as in my specific case, I like how the default effect looks. So, I will remove the border color, I will remove the corner radius, save the changes, and we already have this application with the blur effect. We will use this effect in more graphical interface challenges later in different videos that I will be publishing. And I hope it has been useful or will be useful for the application you are going to develop with .NET MAUI. If you liked this little tutorial, I invite you to like the video, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you know where I release a new video on graphical interface challenges or other interesting tips with .NET MAUI. See you in the next video.